Well, Adam joins us now. We have got so many questions <laughs> during the competition. We were almost doing the interview then. Um, where, where did the idea for this come from? Because initially, you, like us, sort of were a bit uneasy with this whole subject matter, really. Yeah, it, it's such a deep subject matter. And this came about... I had a conversation with the head of development at the company who made this in, in the pub one night after work. And I just said casually, I got offered a job at a freak show on Facebook. Mm. And he looked at me slightly shocked. I went, would you do it? And I was like, yeah, if they paid me enough. And then the idea for this documentary came about. What, what are freak shows? Do they still exist? How far have they moved on from the vaudevillian days of Joseph Merrick? So is it all for, what, for you? Was it just down to money? Um, no, I, that was a very kind of tongue-in-cheek comment said in the, in the pub. But then the more you think about it, the more you, you want to know about it. My yeah. curiosity was indeed piqued by it. Was it still the same as humans in cages with the baying Victorian masses groping at them for a shilling? And was it? Um, no, it's, it's moved on quite a lot. And it, it's, so, it... it's so multifaceted now. Is well. it? Well, tell me how, because in my head, I'm still envisaging people paying to come and see something they don't normally see. So I, I just imagine looking at it, just seeing an audience full of gulping faces, and that doesn't sit very well with me. No, and that's what I thought it would be as well. I think in America, they are fascinated by the unique, the bizarre, and things that are very much on the fringes. The vast majority of them absolutely adore it. They're making money out of their differences and they're getting to raise awareness of their differences as well. Well, it's interesting you say that because um, we're back to money again. A lot of, a lot of them saying that, uh, that they're making a lot of money, which, um, which they, some would say they've been forced into doing that, so therefore they're getting paid. It's the only way that they could to make the living. When you say making them aware, of, making other people aware of disabilities, how many people would go to one of those shows take the picture, the selfie, with you, and yeah. then go back to their mates and say, you'll never believe how, how much more aware of his disability I am now. They go, look at the guy I met. Yeah, there, there's a, a group of people that will do that, but there are some that want to come and have the conversation. Um, performers have no idea how people come. Like, even people watching this now, I have no control over what people watching this motives yeah. are watching it but what I can do is articulate myself in a way that makes them more aware mm -hmm. and hopefully means that when they stop watching it they're more educated and better informed and less ignorant for want of a better yeah, term yeah. and people who perform in freak shows some are trying to do the exact same thing so does it mean that for you it's given you a sense of freedom to totally front up to it it's given, it gives me, it gives people freedom to front up to it, but it also gives the audiences permission to stare and be curious. It gives them that first five seconds of, oh, what's going on here? Yeah. And then everything kicks off, you have the conversation, and, and they all get over it. But this is, where I this is where I'm still struggling, because by, by going to that freak show and being given permission to stare, we've met so many people here who've, who've had disfigurements of some kind or disabilities of some kind. They all say, I just wish people would stop bloody staring. And so if you're encouraging them to do that at freak shows, then they're just going to continue to do it in the street. There's no education in that. I think it's a means to an end, though. I think once you start doing the talking, and start articulating yourself, then people do become more aware. <laughs>